Hello, soapy folks. This is Kevin with Divinely Design, and we have a soap video. This one, um, I'm going to do, I think, a black and white themed soap. Um, I'm going to fragrance it with chocolate and vanilla. And I'm going to try and do a hanger swirl and some piping on top. Okay, so let's go over the recipe, shall we? In my oils, I have 454 grams of olive oil pomace, 283 grams of cocoa, I'm sorry, 283 grams of coconut oil, 76 degree, 227 grams of cocoa butter, 227 grams of shea butter, and 170 grams of castor oil. In my lion water, I have 517 grams of water and 185 grams of uh, lye. Uh, for colors, I'm going to be using black, blackest black, from TKB Trading, which I have pre-mixed in some water. White titanium dioxide from Brambleberry, which I also have pre-mixed in some water. I have chocolate fudge fragrance from Nature's Garden. And I have vanilla insanity um, fragrance from Nature's Garden um, mixed with vanilla stabilizer from Wholesale Supplies Plus. So I don't know if you can see there, sort of the levels, the oils on top and the stabilizers down here. Uh, I haven't tried this stabilizer before, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, the idea of the stabilizer is to keep the, the soap very white because the vanilla, vanillin in, in the vanilla fragrance will turn your soap brown. Uh, so I'm using the stabilizer to try and keep that white. And I'm going to put in a scoop of goat's milk powder. And I think I got this at Walmart. I can't remember. But you can find it in the store. I might have got it at my, like, local grocery store, too. I can't remember. But we'll put that in just for some loveliness. All right. Let me give that a quick blend. just so I don't get any goat milk lumps in there. Uh, and let me check my temperatures. My oils are probably pretty warm today. Uh, let me check though. I just mixed up some, some oils. So 86 and my lye water is seven, I'm sorry, 64. So a little bit of a temperature difference, but shouldn't be too bad. All right, here goes my lye water. I'm gonna separate these out, obviously, before I put the color and fragrance in them. And I might put them both in measuring cups just so I can make sure I have equal amounts of each. I think that's what I'll do. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to give this a little bit more of a stir. Lovely. 
light trace going on there. Get my paper out of the way before I get it all messy. Okay, so let's divide this in half. Need bigger containers. All right, well, um, let's see, what am I going to do with that? I don't know yet. All right, so let's do the chocolate one first. In goes the chocolate fudge fragrance. And some black is black. Um, oh, let's, you know what, let's do the white one first before I put my blender in the, in the black. That's very white. Let's see. You know what? I think I will just pour this in here. I'll have a little extra. Black, I suppose. Okay. Chocolate fudge fragrance smells fantastic. All right, and just a little bit more black in there. I think the white is good in terms of color. I was thinking about adding um, activated charcoal. Okay. Let me just 
just scrape down the sides here and give it one more mix. Just get this off here. Okay. All right. So I have my red mold from Essential Depot. And let's start with a layer of black. This has thickened up some, so I'm going to try and just sort of put a layer of white on top here so it doesn't break through the black. Of course I'm making a mess. Now I am going to try and sort of hang or swirl this, so I'm going to, well, I don't know about mess it up, but I'm going to mix it up anyway, so I'm not being super careful here, being a little careful. I'm just pushing this to the edges just to make sure I get good coverage. Okay, I'm gonna give that a little tap. Good. It is definitely thickening up some, but that's okay. I kind of want it um, putting consistency so I can, so it doesn't like, you know, get, break through the layers. Okay. So same thing, I'm just going to push it to the side, make sure I get and a good coverage with it.
And um, I don't know if you can hear it now, it's kind of quiet today, but I know a couple of you have asked me if I have a leaky faucet, and I, I thought, what are they talking about? But I actually have one of those, you can probably hear it, one of those automatic um, water fountains for my cats, and so it makes it makes that little leaky noise, I guess, but um, quite honestly, I've had it for so long, I, I don't really notice it anymore. Okay. So, don't think my kitchen is leaking. It is just some liquid refreshments for my kitty cats. Mm, I got a little black that sort of broke through there, unfortunately. So it thickened up, but it's still, uh, I don't know, like, you know, pudding consistency. Okay. This might be, well, we'll see. I want to do some piping, um, so I'm not sure how much soap I want to save for it, though. I don't, I don't wasn't planning on doing like a big top. Um, so maybe I'll do one more black layer. And I hope these stay kind of even. It's pretty thick now. So, we'll see how that goes. I sometimes have a hard time keeping things level. I think I need a little bit more over here. Yeah, since I have more black, I think I'll do one more black layer, and then the rest will go for piping.
Okay. I'll do one more. Let's see. One more thin black layer, maybe. Sorry, I'm a little quiet tonight. I guess I just don't have a lot to say tonight. Hopefully you are not bored. I didn't think I was going to be able to make soap. Um, I posted a little while ago that I had some travel for work. And uh, so I was coming home. So this is Sunday today. And I came home on Friday from, uh, where was I, Salt Lake City, and I was really booked all weekend long, or so I thought, uh, and then my plans got canceled for today, so I ended up having the whole day to myself, which was very exciting. All right, so I have a special piping bag. I just found that I was out at AC Moore today. So it's a piping bag. You can kind of see the tips at the bottom. It looks like a, a normal piping bag, but it's actually divided in two. There are two sides to it. So on one side, I'm going to put the white, and the other side, I'm going to put the black. So I've done this piping technique actually with three colors, put each color in its own separate piping bag, and then put those colors um, in, in one, one larger piping bag. Uh, so now they've, it looks like they've made a product that sort of does that for you. So I thought I would give it a try. And that's the black and white theme. This is doing sort of two colors. Okay. All right, so that's the one side. Now I'm going to take the middle divider and move it over like that. And my soap is getting very thick, but it's a good consistency for piping, actually. Alright, so we're going to pipe in a second, but I'm going to try and do a hanger swirl, I think. Alright, so this may be a little too thick, we'll see. So I did layers. What I'm going to do is I have this little bendy thing that I got from Home Depot. It's a plastic coated wire. I'm going to lower it in and I'm going to do circles. Um, swirling circles, I think, um, to see if I can sort of get, um, you know, okay. So, we'll see. I may have just messed that all up. But. Yeah, we're definitely 
getting thick now. Okay. All right, let's get some piping going. And until I get it started with the black and white, here I may use my little guest mold for some. Well, darn it. I'm just not getting the, uh, the black. There we go. Okay, uh, let's see. What am I going to do? Oops, sorry. I'm trying to get my head out of the way. Well, this isn't working as well as I hoped it would. I was hoping to get a nice contrast. Between the black and the white, and I'm really not. Now I'm really just getting white. I mean, I'm sorry, now I'm just really getting the black. Well, that's disappointing. All right, well, I was hoping to get much more like that, where I got a definite difference, but. All right, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, and then uh, I may add a little glitter on top of it, we'll see. And um, so stick around, after the break should be the unmolding. Bye. Hey, Soapy folks, this is Kevin with Divinely Designed, <clears throat> and this is the unmolding and cutting of my chocolate vanilla soap. Um, so, I had a bit of a delay in doing this. Uh, my mom, who some of you have seen on my videos, uh, both my mom and myself <laughs> ended up in the hospital. So, there was 
a little bit of a delay in me getting around to cutting this. I am out of the hospital and my mom is still in the hospital but doing better so hopefully she will be out in not very much longer. Okay. So, as a result, this soap is several, is a couple of days old, actually. I don't know that I've ever cut a soap this old. This old. Um, you know, that's sort of been sitting in the mold for this long. It still feels kind of soft. We'll see how this goes. It smells... It's, it actually, it's amazing how much this smells like Oreo cookies. I didn't really intend that, but... Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's cutting very nicely, actually. Okay. Ooh, look at that. They came out wonderful, actually. I wasn't really sure what the swirls would look like, because I just sort of rammed that hanger in there and twisted it in a circle. So, definitely interesting. Mmm, it smells so good. So that's a pretty interesting swirl pattern in there. Um, oh, so this is, you know, this looks like some of the layers really didn't get swirled and this other ones did. Still kind of interesting. I don't know, I think all soap swirls are interesting, so... And the top on this is very pretty. It has that piped sort of texture to it. That's a nice one. Ooh, that one's pretty. That one came out very nice. And last but not least, ooh, another really nice one. Okay. All right, that is my chocolate vanilla twist. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to call it. Um, I might, I would love to call it just Oreo cookie, I think, but I don't know. I think that's like trademark infringement. But it smells just like Oreos, but don't tell anybody. Um, okay, so chocolate vanilla twists, uh, questions, comments, leave them below, uh, like it if you like the, the video, subscribe if you haven't before, and check back here for more soap and bath and beauty related videos here at Divinely Designed. Thanks for watching.